I'm prepping to clamp and do all the welding on this. So it's similar to the way it, I've seen this done in the past, just using some uh, some aluminum shims. Alright, so just more of that. I'm going to get some more clamps on there. I'm going to come by and uh, touch some grinding spots for where I'll tack it. Once it's tacked, then I can pull the clamps off, grind the rest of it good, and then weld the whole thing. I'm going to be tacking this up. Alright, now I can remove the clamps and then I can start doing the actual full welding. I sure made a pretty hideous mess out of that. I think I'm going to try to extract everything, build up a little bit more weld. I can go over it with a fly cutter on the mill and actually, you know, bring it all down. At least make it look a little nicer. I'm uh, even for me. I'm a little disappointed in that. <laughs> Pretty sure it's going to come out the rest of it fairly easily. All right, I was setting up for one last push. I was putting this old broken main bearing up here, and it actually just fell out. So we were close enough.
So I let this cool for about an hour, you know, I went in, uh, it's a Saturday night, so I had to go watch me some Saturday night special. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, check the link up over here. Got mm -hmm. caught up on Fireball Tools' new channel. He's uh, calibrating a big lathe in his shop. So uh, you might check that out. I'll try to post that up right here. So this guy's gotten it quite a bit hotter than I'd like. I think uh, I think my my mill might be getting a little bit dull. It came in a random set of stuff. It'll be actually a be a good project for my uh, tool and cutter grinder. I think this will be the last project I do with that mill until I get it over there and uh, I can redress all the angles and everything and get it kind of cleaned up. It's brazed carbide so it's not indexable. I can't just pull those off really easily without brazing new ones in. But it should be able to mount it up somehow on my tool and cutter grinder and get all the angles set up and, and cut off pretty well. For the next part on this piece though, I want to be able to clean up where these welds are. So I'm just going to chamfer all these corners. The way I'm going to do that is set it up on angle blocks. I'll bring you in and uh, do a quick setup for that.
setup for how I'm cutting off the, and machining the feet. So basically I'll just come down, I'll touch off here. This I've gotten fairly level using parallels and uh, I'll just shave this down until it just takes you know five or ten thou off of the entire surface. Once I get that done I'll come back and uh, show how I clean up these side welds here to give them a nice squared off look. I look at the way this cutter is actually set up. It's got about a 45 degree taper on each of these corners here. So I use that to come in on the part here and actually grind that down so it's got a nice square edge to it. I didn't want to cut too much off of it, so there's still a little bit of scale on there, but I can take that off pretty easily with a wire brush. That way it'll be uh, prepped for paint. Once painted, it, it should look really, really, really nice. But yeah, it gives it a nice 45 degree angle. Let's see if I can zoom in there a little bit more. Uh, focus. I guess I won't be zooming in that far. 